let me tell you, it's a lot more than the toaster in your kitchen. In fact, it's a lot more than like every appliance in your house. In fact, we need to suck so much juice that we have basically two households worth of power coming from the hotel. We have 120 amps. Most houses get 100 amp service and maybe only use 50 or 60 amps. Um, so some other staggering numbers about Tesla coils. These, these Tesla coils run about 10,000 watts. That's about their output power. Now the voltage, most people are familiar with the term voltage, whether or not they really know what it means. It's sort of the, uh, the electric potential to, to make electrons do things, make them move around. But the voltage produced by these Tesla coils, each one is up to 700,000 volts. So between the two, if we, if we work them together, we get over 1.4 million volts between the two Tesla coils. Now, I've also heard people say, well, it's high voltage voltage but low current, right? You know, it's like a static spark in the winter time. Well, no, not even close, okay? It, in the sunlight, you can see the heat waves flow off of the sparks. Remember 10,000 watts? It's hard to imagine what 10,000 watts of heat really is, but even the little electric heater that you use to heat your office or your bedroom is, you know, maybe 1,000 watts. We have 10,000 watts per Tesla coil. If Terry wasn't wearing that metal suit, he would be fried, no question about it. So next time I hear someone say, well, it's like a little static spark, now you can say, uh-uh. <laughs> I heard it from the Masters of Lightning. That's some serious stuff going out there. So we've got just a few more things left. Uh, we've got a couple of songs and uh, maybe some fire.